So just a quick heads up before we get into this tutorial. Um, I hold no responsibility for anyone who bricks their console. I have done this on numerous PlayStation Classics. I've had no issues, but just follow the guides step by step. Make sure that everything lines up exactly how I do it, and everything will flow smoothly. But again, this is for educational purposes. If you want to do it, that's great. If you do it and you mess something up, I am not responsible. So, just a heads up, guys. But let's do this. Welcome here's his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your internal games on your PlayStation Classic. We're going to take out the games that Sony initially put in and we're going to put in our own. So before we get started, this assumes you've already installed the Bleem Sync mod. If you have not, I will leave a link in the description to mod my classic. They've got a tutorial on how. It's very easy, but this does assume that you have the Bleem Sync mod installed on your PlayStation Classic. You don't need the Bleem Sync on USB, you just need the initial install of the mod so that we have FTP access and SSH access. So the first thing we want to do is we want to back up everything. So let's go ahead and do that. So with our PlayStation Classic plugged into our PC through USB, we're going to power on our PlayStation Classic. So I'm going to turn mine on now and you should hear a certain noise. So hopefully you heard that and that's all you hear. And then we'll give it a few seconds. If you did not hear that noise, go into your PlayStation Classic Tools Pack and install the PS Classic driver for Windows and then try again. So we've waited a few seconds, so what we're going to do is go into our PlayStation Classic Tools folder. And if you're using 32-bit Windows, use this FileZilla. Uh, I'm using 64-bit, so I'm going to use this FileZilla. So I'm going to launch it up. And the text file we downloaded earlier is the FTP info. So let's open that up and we'll copy the host number. So we'll go like this, copy, and then we're going to paste that into host. Same with our username is root, copy, paste. Password is blank. We don't use a password. And the port is 21. So copy. I'll close that. I'll paste that into the port. Paste. And then we want to hit quick connect. You can say OK right here. We are inside of the PlayStation Classic. So it just a big warning, guys. Don't mess with anything. Just follow the steps. I am not responsible if you mess up your PlayStation Classic. I'm just showing you how to swap out games internally, and that's it. So just, just a heads up there. The folder we want is GAA Data. And you want to go to whatever drive you want to back it up on. So on D, I have my... I have a lot of stuff. Uh, PlayStation Classic Backup Garage. And I've already backed it up. But what you'll want to do is go to the folder where you want to back it up, right click on GAA data and hit download and let that go for a while. And what that's going to do is download all of these folders with our games inside and all the files needed, as well as our database, our region info, our preferences, our system lost and found is empty. Uh, the system has the BIOSes inside. So let that all download, just download the whole GAA data folder to somewhere safe on your PC, just like mine. So I've downloaded it all already and let that go. And then we'll go on to the next step. So the next step is to close FileZilla once everything is completed downloading. And we're gonna go back into our PlayStation Classic Tools folder. We're gonna take template folders and we are gonna right click, copy, and I'm just going to paste mine where I have my games. So my games are on my desktop. I'm going to paste. I have my template folders. So if we open it up, we have 25 folders. Depending on how many games you're going to be putting on your PlayStation Classic, you can only have up to 25. That's the max. I'm only doing three games for this tutorial. So if you were doing 20 games, you could delete 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I'm going to be deleting everything except for three. 
delete. And the next thing we want to do is open up where you have your PlayStation Classic games. Bring it over to the side. Go into where your template folders are. So in folder number one, I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to open up my first game that I want to put as number one, which is Metal Slug X. I'm going to move it on in there. I'm going to do the same for number two. I'm going to take Strider, put it in there. And I'll do the same for Tomb Raider in number three. Now, if you guys, I recommend using single bin queue. So I do have videos on those if you want to know how to convert your multi bins to single bin. But now that we have our games in there, we can just close these both out for now. Go back into our PlayStation Classic tools and we're going to launch up the PBPSC Realpha 1.5. Okay, so let's launch it up and make sure we're on currently used BleemSync version 1.2.0. We're going to go over here to the browse folder. We're going to browse and I'm going to go to my template folders that are on my desktop. And I'm just going to click the template folders and click OK. Now we'll hit refresh. It's going to say an error. Just hit no. It's perfectly fine for now. We're going to fix it all. So my game, I'm going to click on number one. We've got some issues. So I'm going to hit edit game.ini. So this is Metal Slug X. Edit game.ini and picture. Now in the search bar, I'll type metal and hit search. And there is USA Metal Slug X. I'll click it and click view page here. Now you'll see these arrows light up blue. So if you want to use the box art from the PSX data center, you can just hit like that. I definitely want to do the info and then I'm going to hit this alpha title. I'm going to hit the arrow there. So for now, I'm just going to use this box art. If you want to use the box art I've included in my PlayStation tools pack, go on into 2D box art. I'm going to use North America and I'll search for Metal Slug X. Here it is. I'll drag it in. Boom. I'm using it. So I'm going to click Save As on the top first. This Save As. Make sure it's folder number one that you're saving in. Game.ini. Save. For the picture, Save As. Same thing. You want to make sure it's in the same folder. Save. We'll go back. Now we're going to go to Auto Rename. Click Bin File. Yes. Q file, yes. Edit Q, auto save back. We have no errors anymore. It says the PCSX doc config is not necessary for BleemSync, but it will be necessary to replace it on the internal memory. So make sure you keep that in there. Now we're going to do the same thing, only this time I'm Strider. So number two, I'm going to click my edit game any in picture. I will search Strider, and this one is a little bit different. So I'm going to search Strider. Strider came with Strider 2, so there's no Strider by itself. So I'm going to click Strider 2, view page here. And then when they light up the arrows, I'm going to click that. I'm going to change the name to Strider, and then I'll do the alpha title arrow. So it says Strider. Disk 2 was Strider 1 which is kind of weird. So I only want SLUS 1163. So I'm going to delete this first one so it looks just like so. And I'm going to go into my 2D box art and find my Strider box. Here it is. And I'll drag it over. And again, we want to click the top Save As. So Save As. We're in folder number two where we should be. Save. Save As. Folder number two, where we should be, save, back, auto rename bin, yes, auto rename queue, yes, edit queue, auto, save, back. Good to go. And I'll do one more. So Tomb Raider, edit game info, and I'm going to put tomb, whoops, tomb R. I'll just search for that. 
USA Tomb Raider view page here. Once these arrows light up, I'll do this, and then I'll do my alpha title arrow. And then I'll come on down in my box art folder. There's Tomb Raider. There we go. Save as. We're in number three, which is great. That's where we want to be. Save as. Same thing. We'll go back. Auto rename the bin. Yes. The queue. Yes. Edit the queue. Auto save back. Okay, so now we're ready to create our database. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we want to make sure that in our working directory, mine is my desktop, that all of the games we have here, so my first one's Metal Slug, all check marks. Disregard the pcsx.config. That's If that's your only warning, that's perfect. All of mine are good to go. I'm going to click Recreate Database. Database regenerated. Now you can properly unplug your USB drive and plug it into your PlayStation Classic. That's not what we're doing here. That is for BleemSync. So just hit OK, and then we will close out. We can close out our box art. Now we've done all of our games, and depending on how many games you have, it does take a bit. But uh, just you know, slowly follow the video. Each game has the same process for the most part. So, but now I've re it's recreated this BleemSync folder. I'm going to go inside, etc. BleemSync system databases. We don't care for the bleemsync.db. What we care about is regional.db. So we want to copy that. And we're going to close. Then go into your template folders. You may have more than me. I only did three games, but we're going to paste it in there. So now we've got a copy of it, nice and accessible. Close out. Now we're going to FTP into our PlayStation Classic one more time. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so PlayStation Classic Tools, FileZilla, we'll launch it up. And I, sh I have it on Quick Connect right here because it's the last thing in my history under the arrow. We'll hit OK. We will go to GAA Data, but on the left side, I'm going to go to my working directory, which was my laptop, or my desktop, sorry. And we're going to go to my template folders. And I have one, two, three, and depending, you can have up to 25. Be aware that you want your games to come in under 13 and a half gigs, or 13 and a half gigs at most. We've got 14 gigabytes to work with. I, for save states and, and anything else like that, I just recommend you keep your games under 13 and a half gigabytes. So just, just be mindful of that. So now that we have a backup already of our GAA data, we can go ahead and delete all of the numbered folders. So just like this, we leave these bottom five folders. Delete. Yes. Now we're going to take our new folders that we've created and upload them. And it shouldn't take too long. I mean, depending on how many games you have, mine's going pretty fast at seven and a half megs. Uh, per file and one of the important things at the beginning why we copied the entire GAA data folder was because we wanted a backup of our original database file as well so once we go into the databases folder and if you want you don't have to delete this I mean it's so small that you could just rename it so I'll rename it regional or rig and then I will upload the new regional DB that we created into the databases folder, just like so. And we will just wait for the Tomb Raider bin to complete. And then we will switch over to the PlayStation Classic. So I'm going to allow that to finish. And once it does, I'm going to press the power on my PlayStation Classic to power it down. And then we'll launch it back up and make sure everything is working correctly. So we're almost done here. Okay, perfect. So now that everything's transferred over, I'm going to power down my PlayStation Classic. There we go. 
and let's go ahead and switch to the other camera and we can see if our games are all good to go from the main menu of the PlayStation Classic. Okay, so I'll launch the PlayStation Classic by powering it on. And I'll mute the TV. And let's go ahead and see if our games are good to go. So we should be good to go now. My stock PlayStation Classic now only has the three games that I've transferred. So let me go ahead and launch one up. Make sure everything's working correctly. So far so good. Let me hit reset. Do I want to create a resume point? Yeah, sure. Awesome. So everything is working. I really hope this worked for everyone else. Uh, just follow the guide step by step and uh, you should be good to go. So as usual, I really appreciate everybody watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you want extra content, consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month. But most importantly, everybody, have a good day.